Hello, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy at Walden University. Now, all of you are in the course Quantitative Reasoning. I wanted to give you a brief synopsis about how this course is set up from uh, beginning to the end. So, uh, and, and I, wa I wanted to also say uh, before I begin, uh, there's lectures each week and you should pay attention to them. Uh, they have been created uh, by my good friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Matt Jones. So uh, a little bit about what you'll be going through in each of the weeks and they kind of build on each other. Uh, you, you start off by understanding the levels of measurement, units of analysis, and sometimes this can be tricky. Uh, however, there's only four levels of measurement, uh, and those are nominal, ordinal, interval, ratio. And you'll actually learn a lot more about these. This is just a synopsis. And then the universe, and then the unit of analysis is either group level or individual level. And most of the time, if you're saying group level, then it's incorrect. Uh, and we'll go into a bit more about that. You then go into um, understanding the optimal way to visualize data. And as you'll note, uh, the way to visualize uh, uh, categorical variables such as nominal variables is completely different than, say, some of the uh, continuous variables such as a histogram. Uh, we'll talk more about this uh, when the time comes. Then you um, encounter um, a number of statistical tests. And before I go into the statistical tests, it's important to pay attention to the measure that is the effect size. So the first statistical test that you go through is the t-test. And, and you try to determine what the outcome variable is, what type of outcome variable is, and what the explanatory variables are. And in this course, we will refer to this an outcome variable as a dependent variable and an explanatory variable as an uh, independent variable. Uh, I, I wanted to take a tangent here and uh, talk about a quote that George Box made. Um, he said that all models are wrong, some are useful. So there's always error, and that's something that you'll be uh, learning about actually very early. So we went, went over the t-test, uh, then one-way ANOVA uh, is um, the anal analysis of variance. That is the next test that you go over. Then you take a look at uh, the correlation coefficients and understanding how that works. And then finally, you end with chi-square um, and you learn about three ways to look at it and also looking at effect size. So that sums up everything that you will be going over. However, in much greater detail than um, I go over in, in three minutes. Thank you for listening.